bitch, your one and only boozy bitch. Kind of out of it today, just a little bit. Like, I don't know. Woke up at 5 30 as my wife's getting ready. Had to get a drink. She wasn't loud this morning, surprisingly, but I had a really hard time falling back asleep. I wanted to. I ended up falling back asleep. I should have stayed up because I was wide awake. Anyway, um, I have a meeting today, and usually our meetings, um, our manager meetings are a little rough. They're mostly good, but there's a lot of stuff that you're like, damn, I really should have had a drink before I fucking went to this meeting. You know, it's like, you can never fully be prepared to get, you know, hear all the bad shit that you don't want to hear, that how your shop's doing, and blah, 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 blah. I know we need improvement. I know that there's things that we definitely need to work on, but all in all, we got a pretty, pretty awesome shop, you know, it's very busy. It just sucks because, like, I feel like I have to be, I, I should have got a couple airplane bottles to kind of just throw back before the meeting. It just helps me relax a little bit. So I feel like most of the time I'm kind of a little bit tense, which is odd for me, but I don't know. Nobody wants to hear negative shit, you know? It's, it's one of those things where it's like, damn, I can't just sit be like all positive. Which for the most part, a lot of it is, but... There's still shit that you're like, God damn it. I should have had a drink. Anyway, I'm running late, of course. Hopefully I make it on time. I had to stop at a fucking gas station. And, of course, uh, there was a very old man in front of me with his, you know, he had his two canes on both sides. And he's struggling. You know, And I just wanted to help him, but, you know... A lot of people don't like to accept help. Well, I go over and I ask him if I can help him get to his car, blah, blah, blah. He all of tells me to go fuck myself. He is probably almost, I don't know, a hundred. He's old as fuck. So it's fine, you know, whether I fuck myself or I don't fuck myself. I feel like I probably should go fuck myself because I was trying to help this old man and it's like, it completely backfired. I don't, I don't know. Like, sometimes you just lose your faith in humanity. And I guess that maybe is what's going on with him. Like, he's not happy about his life. What are you doing, fucking bitch? God, this fucking bitch. Duh, there's a sign that says, go the fuck over. Guess what? She's not. She's going to cut me off. God fucking damn it. I hate driving. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway, this old guy, I felt bad for him because, you know, he can't really hardly walk, you know, he's still doing all this shit, pumping his own gas, and, you know, I'm just like, I don't know, you're almost 100 years old, like, fuck, let somebody help your ass, you know, somebody willing to help you without any kind of, you know, what's in it for me type deal, then why won't you let them? Is, is humanity that fucked up? God damn! so much anyway I uh, that will be it'll be a while before I try to help somebody out again honestly he looked like a sweet old man and I was just like Jesus Christ what the fuck is it really that bad in life that we have to God, this fucking woman in front of me I'm going to kill her I'm going to fucking kill you drive your fucking car you piece of shit oh my god she keeps fucking braking. Slamming on her fucking brakes. Eat your asshole. Bitch. Of course I'm stuck behind her for a while. Construction in Belleville is absolutely fabulous. You gotta fucking love it. Anyway, I had to share my story because this guy, man, I don't know, maybe 93 years old. I said, sir, would you like help to your car? Go fuck yourself! Alrighty then. Okay. Well, you have a good day too, sir.
as I walk off with my tail between my legs because a 93-year-old man told me to fuck off or go fuck myself, which you don't really expect to hear that kind of thing, but luckily I have really tough skin and it didn't really bother me as much as I, you know, it probably would somebody else, but it made me laugh in a way because I'm like, damn, this motherfucker, he's like a gangster, but anyway, it was kind of a little comical, I had to give it a little comical relief today, um, because it kind of did make me giggle a little bit, but I was honestly just trying to help him, he looked like he was really struggling, and I just, I hate to see anybody struggle that much, especially like an older, an older person, my heart kind of just melts for them, because he's doing all this by himself, and when you taking care of elderly for years and years and years it's kind of in your soul it's like ingrained in your soul to try to help and take care of you know the elderly because they don't sometimes have anyone uh, it just <laughs> he's very independent clearly and there's nothing that would change that so I was just trying to be a good Samaritan and help this elderly man in his time of need, but apparently I don't, you don't need his, you don't need my help. But anyway, thanks for listening. Um, if you like my page, I appreciate you. Um, I have a website, I have a YouTube channel, Boozy Bitch Stories. Um, subscribe, there's always new additions. Uh, this weekend I'll be going out of town, so there'll be plenty of more videos, I'm sure, to be added. So, thanks for listening, and if you like it, share my page. Um, get everybody involved, get my name out there. Um, I love meeting new people and talking and sharing my stories. So, you have a good day. I'll see you probably later, because it is Whiskey Wednesday, or whatever, some kind of booze. I drank wine last night. Either way, I'm probably going to drink tonight, so um, stick around.